Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install better title screen in Minecraft 1.13.2. This is a simple mod that uh, does exactly what it says. It makes Minecraft's title screen better, allowing you to change things like down here, like even remove how many mods are loaded and all sorts of stuff like that. Complete customization of the Minecraft main menu is what I would call it. But nevertheless, that is what this is going to do. However, before we get it installed, we do have a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below, the breakdown.xy slash apex get an awesome 24-hour ddos protected minecraft server for just a few bucks a month we love apex so much that we actually use them to host our own server play.breakdowncraft.com so go check out apex at the first link down below again that is the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an incredible 24-hour ddos protected server for uh, you and your friends to play on Nevertheless, for battle title screen, it is very, very simple to uh, get things rocking and rolling. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is the better title screen's official download page where you want to click on this file button. Once you do that, it will take us over to the downloads list of all the different downloads from battle title screen all the way back to 2014. However, we want to look right up here at the top where it says game version 1.13.2. As you can see, game version 1.13.2 there. Scroll on over to that little gray download button next to the 1.13.2 game version and then click on it. Once you do that, it'll get a pop-up like this on Mozilla Firefox and Google Chrome will actually be in the bottom left of your screen. Just a little thing will pop up and down here in the bottom left, it'll say, are you sure you want to download this? As long as it begins with better and ends with .jar, as you can see, ours begins with better here and ends in .jar, you're going to keep the file on Google Chrome in the bottom left or save the file in the center of your screen on Mozilla Firefox, depending on which browser you have. So we can go ahead and save the file on Mozilla Firefox, and on Google Chrome, you'll click Keep in the bottom left. Now, we aren't done downloading just yet. We still need to download Forge. And if you go to the third link down below, it will take you here, which is our official tutorial on how to download and install Forge. However, I'm going to be showing you how to do this in this video. So what we want to do is click on this green download button right here. See this green download button? Click on that green download Forge button, and it takes us off to Forge's official website. Once you're here, you want to make sure this is the 1.13.2 version. To do that, make sure it says MC 1.13.2 here. If it doesn't, click on 1.13.2 in the left-hand menu bar here, and then click on 1.13.2 as your version. Then it'll say MC 1.13.2 right here. Once it does, we can go ahead and under download latest, click on the installer button. Once you click the installer button, it will take us off to add focus where you have to wait six seconds. Don't click anything on this page. Stop. No, your download is not ready. It is lying to you. Stop it. All you want to do is wait six seconds and then click the red skip button up here in the top right. See that red skip button up there? Click on that red skip button and it will open this in the center of your screen on Google Chrome. It'll open up in the bottom left. And as long as it begins with forge and ends in dot jar, which ours does, it begins in forge and ends in dot jar, we're good to save the file in Mozilla Firefox. On Google Chrome in the bottom left, again, as long as it begins with forge and ends in dot jar, you're good to go ahead and click keep on the file. So save it on Mozilla Firefox and keep it on Google Chrome in the bottom left. Now if we go ahead and minimize our browser on our desktop here. We do have two things, one of which being better title screens and the other one being Forge 1.13.2. Now if these aren't on your desktop, no worries. Just click on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen, that little Windows icon down there. Click on that little Windows icon and it'll open up a screen like this. Then type in downloads, right like so, and then you have a downloads folder here. Click on that and then drag Forge and Better Title Screen from your downloads folder to your desktop just for ease of use. Once these are on your desktop, no worries, all we need to do, once these are on your desktop, we need to go ahead and start off with Forge. Go ahead and right click on Forge and you should have Open With here. Click on that and then there should be Java TM Platform SE Binary. But what if there isn't? Or what if there is and you go ahead and click OK and it doesn't work? Well, we do have a solution for you. What you want to do is go to the description of this video where you'll find the download Java link. This is the download of the Java SDK, which is something that you need to have in order to not only run Forge, but Optifine and pretty much any other Minecraft mods. Even a Minecraft server requires you to have Java development kit here. So come here. This tells you how to get the correct version for your computer. It walks you through everything. And then if you do that and you still can't open up that jar file, you need to run the jar fix here. This has helped 36,000 people by fixing the jars on their computer and making them all work with Java again. It's a very, very simple and very, very easy process, and it walks you through it all here. After you've done that, you can finally right-click on Forge again, and then you'll have the open with, and this time you'll be able to see the Java TM Platform SE binary. Click on that and click OK. That will then open up the Forge installer here. We want to go ahead and click on Install Client, and then click OK. It'll then go through and download Forge and do all of that stuff, and once it is all said and done, it'll say successfully install Client Profile for Forge. If this does 
not work, no worries. All you need to do is go run Minecraft 1.13.2 with no mods installed whatsoever, and then come back here and it will work. Once you see successfully installed, go ahead and click OK. Now we need to go ahead and open up the Run application. And to do that, you want to click on the little Windows icon in the top left for me. It's in the bottom left of your screen. Now, window, Windows icon in the bottom left. It's actually a little hard to say. Little Windows icon in the bottom left of your screen. Click on that and it'll open up the Start menu here where you want to type in Run. Are you in? You'll then have the Run Desktop app there. Click on that. And then in the Run Desktop app, we want to type percent app data percent percent sign app data percent sign exactly like that if I can type it right percent sign app data percent sign right like so then click OK and it will open up our roaming folder here where you then want to go into the dot minecraft folder in your dot minecraft folder you should have a mods folder but if you don't know worries don't freak out just create one right click create a new folder title that new folder mods mods all lowercase exactly like that and then open up your newly created mods folder once you've opened it up, you want to take better title screen and drag it into your mods folder right like so. And I'm actually going to leave this up because there is some config changes we can do once we get better title screen up and running. So nevertheless, let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. And once we're in the Minecraft launcher, we don't want to slam that play button. No, no, no. We want to make sure we're selecting the correct version. To do that, click on the little green arrow next to the play button here. And you should have a profile or version titled Forge. If you have that, click on it and click play. If you don't though, no worries. Click the three lines up here in the top right and then click on launch options. Once you've clicked on launch options, you'll need to go ahead and add a new profile here. So click add new. You can name this new profile whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why? Because that is the IP of the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. 1.13.2 Greek Protected Survival, Incredible Factions, Custom Skyblock, come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com. You absolutely love it. That is the IP. For the version here, we want to click on the version drop down menu, and then you'll see Forge or Release 1.13.2 Forge right here. Click on that. If you've got multiple ones, make sure you just click the one with the highest number at the end. In our case, it's going to be that one because we've only got one version. I'm going to go ahead and change my resolution. You don't need to do that, but I'm just doing it so you can see once we get in game, and then go ahead and click Save. Now we can come back over to the News tab here, click the little green arrow next to the play button, and then find the play.breakdowncraft.com profile. Click on that, and under where it says play, it should say 1.13.2-forge. If it does, go ahead and click on that green play button. Now we'll open up Minecraft 1.13.2 with better title screen installed. I'm going to go ahead and just let it do its thing and go ahead and open on up, and I will meet you on the Minecraft main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and as you can see down here, better, better title screen is installed because, well, you I mean you can see better title screen. I don't think there's any denying that. We're going to go in the mods folder here, and there is better title screen right there. See that? Now, if we come back over here, this is our mods folder. I said I was leaving it open. Then we go back to dot .minecraft, and then click on config. You will be able to see in here the better title screen. See that? Right there is the config for it. If you go ahead and double click on that, I'm going to open it with a text editor. Add them here. Boom, and it will open right on up. So what this is going to allow us to do is do some customization on this file and change things however we want to do. As you can see, show mods loaded, true or false, forge version, true or false, text, what the text says, all sorts of stuff like that. As you can see, better title screen, all with custom color codes, for example. There is so much stuff you can change with this here, and that's how you can do it. You just go to that config file and open up the better title screen dot dash client dot t-o-m-l and it will open it up uh, in a text editor like adam and you'll be good to go so there you guys have it that is how you can install better title screen in minecraft 1.13.2 if you have any questions let me know in the comment section down below i'm more than happy to help you out and come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com the best minecraft server in the multiverse if you're looking for incredible survival incredible skyblock incredible factions faction starts may 1st come play with us play.breakdowncraft.com is the ip nevertheless thank you so much for watching my name it's Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.